Hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to yet another episode of learning with Junaid today we are going to be discussing about one of the most frequently asked interview questions also something that you should know uh, as a data data structure developer uh, your ability to be able to delete a node from a single linked list so in the last class we defined what's a linked list and how to write a linked list the structure of a linked list uh, uh, and a small test case on creation of a linked list today we are going to see how if i have to delete a node from a linked list what is the most easiest and the most fastest way so this is an example of a linked list that we currently are working with it's a character based linked list uh, this is how you've defined each linked list as i said will have a character value it could be anything it could be a integer it could be an object it could be a string we chose to work with character uh, and it will also have a reference to the next node in the list uh, so so this is how we iterate it you know we will always have a reference to the head of a list if i have to work with uh, a linked list so let's go ahead and write a method to be able to delete a node from this linked list so i am going to call this method as delete a node and i am going to explain you the logic of how easy it is to delete a node public a static uh, delete a node and uh, uh, what you pass to the node or, or to the method is a head of your linked list and also the value that that needs to be deleted for now <coughs> i'm going to return a null <coughs> oh for now i'm going to be written that so in the last class we discussed about a linked list the, the structure of a linked list as i said you know would look something like this something is wrong with my mouse so this is a linked list uh, so this is a list node uh, that means each node in the linked list is defined using this and this is our data that is populated uh, we are going to be able to see the ability of how to delete a node from a list let's go ahead and uh, call this method call this method call as delete na- node i already have a head right i already have a head and then i am going to ask us to delete the value or a node that has a value of b so that's what I'm, my target is my target is to be able to delete a node that has the value b so my new node or my new linked list would look something like this it would have a and then it would ha- it would not have b cuz i'm planning to delete this but whatever a was referring to it would go ahead and refer to this value so my new node would have a and then the next node of a would become c the next node of c would become d b and all the references from b will have to be deleted how is it uh, how do you implement it very simple you go ahead and you make sure that you know you take your head into a temporary node so that you know you don't mess up with uh, your head <laughs> i mean you don't mess up with your head node okay next check if you the value that you want to delete <clears throat> does it equal to the value that was passed example if you had passed a if you had passed a so and your head is actually starting at a so this is your head right this is your head so this condition temp dot value which is nothing but temp dot value is a is equal to what was passed a yeah that value suffices so what do we do is we just return the 
the head dot next so my new head would become what would become b in this case so it would be it, it would start from b because you know a is supposed to be deleted so that's my check since we are deleting b we have to go ahead and look for one more check here so what's the next check we'll do okay so we are going to iterate through this whole list while my temp dot next node is not equal to null that means I trade through my whole list link list if temp dot next node dot value equal to equal to the value that was passed why do we have to make this check very simple if my temp like so for example if temp the first time the temp is what one one dot next node is what so if my temp the first time is a a dot next node is what b b dot value is what the character value of b right if this if temp dot next node dot value is equal to the value that was passed so this check what, what, what would be my temp at this stage? It would be temp equal to a. Temp dot next node equal to b node. And in this case, right? The first time, okay? Right, so what we do is, if this is a check, if this check passes, what we do? Very simple, we take temp dot next node the next node of temp that is the next node of a should actually become C that is temp dot next node dot next node what is temp dot next node B node what is temp right now a node so temp dot next node this would be actually node b which would have now become this is what that node node c so temp dot next node would now become what a is the, the next node of a a dot next node will be equal to c and and that's what you're trying to do m dot next node is b b dot next node so you actually removed a whole reference from your a to b and then you made this next node as equal to the next node of this one so that's that's pretty much it you know if you do that and then you just gonna go ahead and return the head the head would not differ right because uh, the value was the head didn't change so you're just gonna go ahead and delete that so next thing is you want to make sure that you know your temp is equal to temp dot next node so I trade through it until you find the the value that is supposed to be passed if you found the value let's say that you know if this is a value that needs to be deleted so the next node of this would become the next node of next node of this the reference values so that's pretty much it it's a very simple way of doing uh, the linked list deletions so go ahead and check it delete b 
go ahead and check it and see what happens. See this? It deleted B. Now you just have A, C, and D. The, uh, the idea behind it is always maintain a one value and know that you know you have a next node which actually uh, needs to be deleted if the value comes here it just needs to be deleted and all the reference to this will have to be moved back to this one so this is very important uh, i hope you like the video if you have any comments please go ahead and write below uh, if you have still not subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe and uh, until then next time i will have more videos for you uh, thanks for watching and i will see you next time